In this one, I am going to clean the valves. They have a lot of carbon on them and I don't want that so they need to get cleaned up. So what I'm doing is just by putting them into a drill and then taking some scotch bright and this is how I'm getting the carbon on. All right, all the valves are clean. They look super good. I'm okay with how they look now. They aren't perfect, but they're there. I'm satisfied with them. The intake valves are spotless as well. And uh, now we are going to lap them into the head. I have a uh, lapping tool from AutoZone and some valve grinding compounds. And I'm going to lap each valve into it's seat and I'm going to label them and then you get ready to install the valve springs. Okay, so the, I didn't really like the way the first way I did this came out. So I went and coated the entire perimeter of the valve seat with the uh, valve grinding compound and now I'm putting them back in and I'm gonna lap them again. All right, I have valve grinding compound around the perimeter of each one of these valves and I'm gonna try to lap them in. Uh, hopefully the second time works better. And I clean it up more so that this thing doesn't slip out. All right, after my second attempt at this, all these valves look pretty freaking fire. They all have that mark in them, it's smooth, and the same mark is in the uh, seat and the head. So I'm gonna run with this. It looks really good to me, I'm gonna do the exhaust now. So it's the next day now, I got a smaller lapping stick, because the other one I had in autos one sucked. This one's from O'Reilly's, it's smaller, so I should be able to get the exhaust valves now. I've got compound behind all these now, so I'm gonna try to lap these in. next day I have lapped these things in probably three or four times and finally got the valve seats and the valves as smooth as they can possibly be these things are going to seal amazing the yeah, like subscribe comment because this thing is gonna go fast just like Ching's car yeah if you guys don't like this and comment we're, we're not gonna post this stuff no more yeah that's on three kit all right now that the lapping is done I'm going to clean the cylinder head out and get this thing ready to put together. I am using a Harbor Freight power washer to get all of the stuff out of it. I'm probably gonna hit it with some brake clean. And yeah, we're gonna go from there.
All right, the cylinder head is all clean, as you can see in the last clip. I have a bunch of Ferrera valve springs that I'm gonna install on this thing. And I'm gonna show you my process of doing this. What you're gonna need is a 15 millimeter socket to press them down. And then I have this little tool that's for an N63 for doing valve guide seals, but it, it helps put the uh, keepers on them. And then here's a 15 millimeter socket. And then since I have this thing so, par so far apart, I'm using brand new valve guide seals. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put the valve guide seals in. So when I put the valves in, it holds them from falling out when I lift the head up. So just get on the line and throw all these valve guide seals in. The intake valves are thinner than the exhaust and the valve guide seals are the same. I'm recording a video saying You going to park start? Yeah. If he's a ranger, where, where are you looking? There's tank. Alright, I got all the valve guide seals in. Now I'm gonna put the valves in. This head is backwards, so I, I've labeled them in order. What? Oil guides. All right, I got all the valves in. I'm gonna flip the head on its side and try to put one of these springs on it and get it on camera. It's barely balancing. This is not gonna come out well on camera. So I'm putting the bottom of this thing on the valve and the top of it on the retainer and we'll squeeze it together. Being careful not to hit the cylinder head. I actually have to tighten this tool. They're working the last one. bottom end is on the valve and now the valve stem is sticking through the retainer and the spring with the valve guide seal in there. This is so finicky. I hate this. There's one side. Hold that side of the pinky. I'm gonna take the other one and try to clamp it on. There's that. Okay. I got them both on, and now I'm gonna release this tool and it should hold. Yep, there we go. Now you're gonna do this for every single valve. Yeet! Oh, this looks good. Throw all the Ferreras in. Nice, all clean, blown out, ready to go. 
I'm gonna throw this timing chain set in and then hopefully get the head on this thing today. Yeah, look at that. The head is so clean. No porting or anything for all you who are asking, but I think it'll be fine. Porting is like another two or three grand. I just didn't want to put more into this. Sorry, I have so much money into this thing, so I think it's good where it's at. All right, guys, I'm sorry to do this, but I gotta cut you short on this video because I'm running out of editing space on my computer. And I also got the wrong timing chain guide. I got one for an N55 instead of an N54. And there's no point in putting it in the video, me figuring out it was wrong. Cause I had to backtrack and take it all back apart to get the, uh, to get the, I had to take the crank hub back out and do all this other stuff to replace that guide with the right one because it wasn't fitting properly. And yeah, it kind of sucked. It delayed the process a lot, but I do have the head on it and I would like to show you guys where I'm at now just cause it looks way too freaking cool. So this is where it's at now. I got the valve cover on it. I got the cams in it. I got the turbo kit sitting on here cause I just wanted to see what it was gonna look like. It looks absolutely trick. But um, yeah, so I am making progress and the videos are coming. So yeah, I just wanna thank all you guys for watching and like the comments I'm getting. Mm -hmm. I also am pretty active on the Facebook groups, like the N5X Enthusiast and most of the BMW groups on Facebook. I post pictures of this stuff before I do the videos. If you guys want to see that, go join those Facebook groups. There's also a lot of people with a ton of knowledge in there that can really help you out. So, yeah, this is where I'm at. The um, the It's not timed yet, but I do have the timing chain set and everything together and the cams are top dead center and it's set it roughly top dead center. But I gotta pull it off the engine stand and put the flywheel on it so I can get the pin in it to get it get it timed. And then once that happens, we're we're pretty much smooth sailing. This thing will be in the car in like two to three weeks. So yeah, big things are coming, guys. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys have any questions or see me doing anything wrong, feel free to tell me about it in the comments. But yeah, take it easy, guys.